What's going on you guys? It's your boy Jarrell from Namarama. I'm back again. We're in Williamsburg again. And I'm dropping it on some friends of mine here at Precarious Beer Hall. The same mines that brought you Amber Ox Public House, they own this spot too. Years ago, I got invited to Precarious Field Days. It was an event that they had at the beginning of the opening of the new Precarious Beer Project. We're back today. Electric Circus Tacos is inside. They got all kind of crazy beers going on. I hear there's an arcade and different kind of video games. Not everyone gets to have a little behind the scenes access, but thanks to my friend Nick, we got a little setup today. All right, y'all. Well, welcome to Precarious Beer Hall here. Got my friend Jarrell. We got yeah. to give you a little behind the scenes tour. Um, again, we don't do this very often, but there are the certain few that we gotta. So this is about uh, every single can we've done to date. Um, all in-house here. The fun part is the majority of these labels are done by someone in-house, not even hired an outside party. The closest to a flagship is gonna be our dear Kung Fu Kittens. All right, so we saw how the beer was made. It's basically like an adult chemistry set. But as I mentioned before, Precarious Beer Hall has arcades. They also have an amazing taco concept called Electric Circus. We're gonna go find that next. Some real big aspects that we like to, you know, claim to fame is our Electric Circus Taco Bar. This is so cool. There were very few breweries that actually had their own in-house kitchen on a, on a daily basis, uh, where you could really focus on the food coming out, out of the restaurant. Hey, what's going on? What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Doing well. How about you? Doing well. Good day. Hungry, man. What you got All for right. us today? We got some awesome tacos set up for you, and we okay. also got a couple of burritos and appetizers for you, so... All right. Hope you're hungry. Love it. Oh, absolutely, man. All righty. All righty, so we have our traditional ropa vieja, which is like a braised uh, steak. Okay. It gets cooked with onions and peppers, tomatoes, all kinds of goodness for low and slow about eight to 10 hours of cook time on it. After that, we have our electric shrimp taco. Get it sweet peppers, a little bit of habanero. It's a take on almost a bang bang shrimp. After that, we have our Korean pork belly taco. It's one of the crowd favorite. It's glazed in teriyaki, a little bit of soy, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of orange juice, lemon juice, lime. So a lot of brightness in there. Then we have our vegetarian option, which is a smoked portobello mushroom taco a little bit of fried onions on top. One final gift, some electric circus hot sauces. Woo. 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 The hat, the look hard, look good. I got the hat, I got the hot sauce, I got the beer. Mm, 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 mm. Beer, tacos, video games, great vibes. What more could you ask for? Dude, Nick, once again, thank you so much for the hospitality. I really appreciate it. And for those who don't know, where can they find you? 110 South Henry Street in Colonial Williamsburg. Come on by for beers and tacos. And if you didn't know, now you know. Until next time, Namarama. We out.